All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Brakatheya Hawa, Brakatheya Hawa Shai, Brakatheya Hawa, Brakatheya Hawa Shai, Brakatheya Hawa, Brakatheya Hawa Shai, Ka Hala Ya Hawa, Ba Shem Ya Hawa Shai, Ba Shem Raka Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS, Great Millstone, who ruled well and who taught me this truth. And uh, Shalom to you, sincere Akiyam out there listening, learning, and pushing this truth. And uh, Shalom to the few sincere Akwath that are out there listening and learning as well. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this video. I don't want to rot this out. It'll be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go into Raka Kwadash. And um, it's not going to be real long. Um, I really just wanted to spotlight um, this video from BBC News. I wish I could play it, but it's, um, it's kind of long. It's about a little bit over five minutes. And um, I'm pretty sure if I play it, uh, they'll give me a copyright. So um, go ahead and watch this video for itself in its entirety. It's from, again, BBC News. It says, uh, France wildfires forces forces thousands to flee. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's read a, read a little bit of it. It says, uh, more than 1,000 firefighters are battling a monster wildfire in southwestern France that has already destroyed nearly 7,000 uh, hect, hect acres of forest. The raging blaze near the city of um, Bordeaux, if I said that wrong, Salakia, has gutted a number of homes and forced 10,000 residents to flee. European countries have seen a wave of deadly wildfires this summer triggered by record temperatures and droughts across the continent. All right. And um, I had a, I wrote down a couple things because I didn't want to forget. Uh, but I'm entitled this this lesson probably apocalyptic fires, all right? Because that's a, a statement that was made in the video, all right? Um, what else did they say? They said uh, there has been no rain in that uh, region of France uh, for over three months. Uh, the last time they received rain was uh, the end of May, and um, that's just, and uh, basically uh, the whole of Europe has been being plagued by this. Uh, excessively what do they call it they call it unseasoned unseasonably unseasonably uh hot temperatures <laughs> salakia and um what else it says it's causing um this this wild this heat and the fires it's causing drought um it's causing the um the they mentioned that they cause it's causing the crops to grow smaller the apples the grapes you know they're growing uh, a lot smaller drier so they're saying there's probably going to be a difficulty during the time of harvest because they grow a lot of uh, wheat and barley and stuff like that in that particular region. So we know that's going to lead to what? Famine, which we keep telling you. Um, also, they're saying um, they talked to two, these two women that I guess they owned uh, horse ranches. And um, they, they were saying that the hay, the price of hay has doubled. Um, barley went up 20 percent. So uh, be beautiful times, man. Beautiful times. And like I said, that's the that's Yahweh. We all know that's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai turning up. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is turning up, and he's visiting the world that he made. Okay, I was reading some of the comments. You know, the comments is good to go through, but um, one caught my eye. Uh, it says, uh, how do you how do you say that person's name? Barry. It says, I live in California, so I can sympathize with what French what the French is going through, because this is going on throughout the four corners of the earth not just in uh europe you got uh parts of asia you know this this man the lord is truly working a wonderful work man you know and you ain't seen nothing yet you ain't seen nothing yet man you haven't seen nothing yet the, it's still mercy out there man it's still mercy but but you can clearly see the times that we're living in there's a time for war there's a time for peace there's a time for love there's a time for hate Man, we're in the time of judgment, man. We're in the time of repentance. Seeking the Lord while he may be found, man. Because all hell is about to break loose like the elders and apostles been saying. And all the, the men out there been signing, and crying and warning you and telling you. A time like never before, man. You know? When you least expect it, <laughs> you know? The doors of mercy are going to slam shut in your face, man. And the Lord is coming to, to judge and to destroy. The slain of the Lord shall be many. Okay, you know, we know these scriptures, man, but it, 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 it's, it's significant. Okay, the Lord ain't playing, man. The Lord is not playing. He's angry every day with the wicked. 
All right, he promised that he wasn't going to flood the earth with water no more. But guess what? He's going to flood this bitch with fire this time. Okay, the fire from the from the nukes, the thermal nuclear destruction. Okay, the um intercontinental ballistic missiles, hypersonic missiles, and, and what the, the laser beams off the chariots, which you ignorantly call uh, UFOs, UAPs. Those are the, the, the vehicles of the angels. Okay, that's the way our Lord is coming back. Yahabashim Yahushai, Yahushai Hamashiach. And that's how he's going to redeem us, man. And in, in, in a giant mothership, the elect of Israel. And he's going to destroy this place, man. It's, it's not a game. This is deadly serious. Our redemption draweth nigh. You know, the kingdom is, is, is nigh. But through much tribulation. All hell is going to break loose, man. Famine, pestilence, war. All the things the Lord said. Not one jot or one tittle shall pass from the law till all be fulfilled, man. We have to go through the Jacob's trouble. We have to go through the fire. Lord's will, we be protected in that day, man. This is Luke 12 and 49. I am come straight out of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach's mouth, who the world willingly and ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai, and he's a so-called black man, a so-called Negro from the tribe of Judah, who's coming back to redeem his people. Yasharala, you tribes, no other nation. I am come to send fire on the earth. Literally, okay, and what will I if it be already kindled? And you can see it's already kindled, it's already kindled, and not just the fire um, on all fronts, man. Physical fire, but also he's going to stir shit up, man. He's coming to bring division. He's coming to bring chaos, hell on earth, purity, hell on earth, man. Okay, not, it's not the time of peace. We're not in that time. The scriptures say that the love of many is going to wax cold because iniquity is going to abound because uh, for the lack of bread, man, people going to be, it's going to be nasty, man. Esau, Edom going to come down with great wrath. He's going to show his true colors, his teeth, his horns. You see, man, Matthew 10 and 34, think not that I come to send peace on the earth. That's what Christianity teaches you. It's going to be a great rapture. A day of rainbows and butterflies and, and hugs and kisses. Wrong. That's not in the scriptures, man. It's a day of weeping, wailing, and gnashing of teeth, sighing and crying. The day of the Lord is a cruel day, a dark day. Matthew 10 and 34. Think not that I come to send peace on the earth. I came not to send peace but a sword. Destruction, death, chaos. Okay? And the ultimate sword is going to be the missiles. But prior to that, all hell is going to be breaking loose. Because he came to set fire on the earth. Okay? And you see it. We're in these times. I'm going to close out here. I don't, I don't want to make it long. We know it. Straight to the point, man. But like I said, watch the video in its entirety. I mentioned key things that uh, were said in the video. But watch it in its entirety, man. All right? I'm, I'm going to close out here. Second Ezra uh, 15. I'll start at um, 10. Behold, my people. Who's the Lord's people? Yasharala, you tribes. You so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Latinos, Hispanics, North American Seminole Indians, okay? And the Israelite foreigners that are scattered abroad that may look like some of the heathen nations, but their seed, their lineage, according to their father, will go back to one of the 12 patriarchs of Israel. You are the Lord's chosen people, okay? You see? No other nation has promised salvation. We are the apple of the Lord's eye, and the Lord is coming back to redeem us and recompense our enemies. For what they have done to us, chiefly Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, and these other heathens, these other heathen nations that are confederate unto him, okay? But two-thirds of our people are confederate unto this devil also, and they're going to get this judgment also, because they refuse to repent, okay? Though, the, though, though they be joined hand in hand, they shall, uh, what, they shall um, not go unpunished, they're going to get thrusted through, roughly paraphrasing, okay? So this is, again, Second Ezra, um... 15 and 10 behold my people is led as a flock to the slaughter because that's what's coming a great slaughter mass death a, a lot a great killing you know you know the slain of the lord isaiah 66 and 16 the slain of the lord shall be many all right behold my people is led especially if you take that karagma that digital oh you're going to be destroyed man revelation 14 and 9 behold my people is led as a flock to the slaughter I will not I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. What's what's the land of Egypt? America, spiritually Sodom and Egypt, Mystery Babylon, the land of Idumea, Edom, Uz, 
Nineveh, the scene of great future judgment. Okay? I will not suffer them now to dwell, to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. Because this isn't talking about ancient Egypt, all right, in the land of Africa. This is talking about modern day Egypt, which is America, spiritually Sodom and Egypt. Egypt representing bondage, spiritually Sodom, and, uh, Sodom representing Sodom and Gomorrah because that's how this place is going out, by fire, okay, okay. But also the damn, uh, you know what, the, the alphabet lifestyle that it promotes also, man. You see? You see? And you people love it. You see? But guess what? The Lord said to come out of her. You know? You know, first and foremost spiritually, but physically we're going to come out of her, you know, in, in that time. When, when the Lord returns, we're going to get beamed up into them ships, man. In a moment, in a twinkle of an eye, we're going to be changed. Okay? But right now we got to come out spiritually. And seek the Lord, become a new creature, you know, put on as the elect, fight, you know, you know. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will, because we going all at the end of the day, all of Israel is going to be saved. But at this particular time, only the elect are going to make it on the first go around, okay? The, the two thirds are going to come back through the loins of the elect, all right, in the kingdom, you know. They're gonna be um, come back as as, uh, as babies, man. Is, the scripture said they're gonna be um, some shall arise to everlasting glory, some shall arise to everlasting shame and contempt. They're gonna be reborn through the loins of the elect, but they're gonna be humble. They're gonna be uh, humble for what they did on this side for a period of time. Okay, you see, but we're going through the fire now so that we don't have to go through the fire at the end. With, okay, because they're gonna go through the fire with the wicked, man. We want to go through the fire now, the straight gate, okay? The chastening, we're getting chastening now, so we're not chastened at the end with the, with the two-third and the wicked, you see? Because at the end of the day, the Lord is going to redeem us, whether you like it or not. The Lord is coming to get his people. We ain't just going to stay here in this wicked-ass world forever, okay? Our redemption is nigh. It says, I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. That's what you think. You think we're going to stay here forever. You think Esau just going to keep on ruling? You think you're just going to die in, old, in your old age and you're going to see your grandkids, you know? You're going to ride off in the sunset and you're putting off the day of the Lord. Woe to you. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm because the Lord the, it's going to take um, divine intervention. To, to, it's going to take spiritual power. It's going to take, to, to you know, you know? The strainness of our salvation, you know? And stretched out arm and a smite Egypt, that's the main point, and smite Egypt with plagues as before. And that's what the Lord is doing. From Cali to, to fucking Europe to, 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 to Australia to the Lord is, is punishing the earth. He's visiting the world that he made. And, the, and the, the chief judgment is going to come right here to Babylon the Great. Okay? America is going to be completely destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. Okay? You see? You know, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. And Egypt was what? Had, there was famine. There was uh, strange apparitions. There was all type of all manner of hell uh, befell Egypt. OK, and that's what you see happening. OK, the Lord is visiting the world that he made. He's, he's punishing this place, man. You know, he's scourging this place. Egypt shall mourn, and the foundations of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that Yahweh shall bring upon it. You see? That's the point. That's the point. The Lord is about to... He is. He's, he's punishing the, this place, man. The wicked. Why? Because the sins of this place have reached up to the heavens. You know? The, ear, the cries of the righteous, the just, have, have, have entered into the, to the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. Yahweh and he's 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 about to redeem us and recompense our enemies, the wicked. All right. So, hey, man, now ain't the time to be playing around, man. Now ain't the time to be playing around. What did the Lord say? Seeing that it was in your in your mind to go astray, being returned, what seek the Lord ten times more. We gotta be on fire for the Lord, man, because he's he's bringing that fire, that apocalyptic fire, man, and we don't want no parts of that, man. All right. So, hey, keep fighting, keep pushing. We're close. Shalom. Wa, Abad, Babal. Kwam Yasharala.